Okay, so in this problem we are told a jet plane emits 5 times 10 to the 5 joules of sound energy per second. A. What is the sound level 25 meters away? Air absorbs sound at a rate of about 7 decibels per kilometer. Calculate what the sound level will be. B. 1 kilometer and C. 7.5 kilometers away from this jet plane, taking into account air absorption. So you want to draw what's going on here. So we have, imagine this right here is the jet plane, and we know it's going to be emitting a sound uh, that's going to travel in all directions like this. Uh, we can imagine it travels in a circle, right, and it goes outwards. And so I went ahead and labeled the three distances that we're going to be solving for, uh, right, that we're going to be solving at. So we have A is going to be when R is 25 meters, B is when it's uh, 1 kilometer, and then C is when it's 7.5 kilometers. And so what we're going to be finding for each of these is the sound level. Uh, and then the thing to keep in mind is some information that they give us. So we're given that the power in this problem is 5 times 10 to the 5 watts. So they say joules of sound energy per second. So when they say joules per second, uh, that's basically a watt. So 1 watt is 1 joule per second. So essentially what they're giving you is the power there. And so what we're going to be solving for is the sound level, beta, which is equal to 10 log i which is the intensity divided by i0 and so i0 is just the minimum audible intensity so it's just a constant here i'll write it down it's equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 12 uh, the units are watts per meter squared so if you notice we want to find the sound level beta uh, we're going to go ahead and need to find the intensity at this point uh, the way we're going to do it is by using a different formula p equals i a so the power is equal to uh, the intensity multiplied by the area. So we know we want the intensity, so it equals the power over the area. So it's the power over the area for these problems are equal to 4 pi r squared. That's the area in which the sound will travel in a, right, a circular motion outwards. Uh, and then we have uh, this, yeah. So uh, we know the power, they give that to us, and we know the radius. So what we can do is really just plug it in and solve. Um, so I'm going to solve for I1, I2, and I3, uh, or actually we are call it IA, IB, and IC, right, for each of the problems, so part A, part B, and part C. So the power is the same for all of them, 5 times 10 to the 5, 5 times 10 to the 5, uh, so 5 times 10 to the 5, 5 times 10 to the 5, and then we're going to divide it each by 4 pi r squared where their radius is changing, right? Because they're at different distances. So for the first one, it's 25 meters. Uh, let's go ahead and plug that in. This one's going to be one kilometer. One kilometer is 1,000 meters. Uh, and then this one is 7.5 kilom uh, kilometers, which is just uh, 7,500. So these are going to be the intensities for each of them. Uh, and let's go ahead and calculate. So 5 times 10 to the 5 divided by 4 times pi times 25 squared. That gives us 63.66. Um, and keep in mind, this is watts per meter squared. So we have 5 times 10 to the 5 for the next one, divided by 4 times pi multiplied by 1,000 squared. That is equal to a much smaller number, 0 0.0398 watts per meter squared uh, the next one 5 times 10 to the 5 divided by 4 times pi times 7500 squared so this is obviously an extremely small value 7.70 or 7.074 times 10 to the minus 4 so 7.074 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per meter squared Cool. So now we have the intensity at each of these. All we got to do is just plug it into this formula to get the sound level at each of these. So let's go ahead and do that next. So uh, we know it's going to be equal to 10 log the intensity. In this case, it's 63.66 for A divided by I0, which is just the constant 1 times 10 to the minus 12. Uh, let me just do it for each of these. So this is BA. B, B is 10 log of, what's the value, 0 
divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 12. Uh, and then the last one, we'll call it BC, the sound level at C, 10 log 7.074 times 10 to the minus 4. Uh, and then we divide by 1 times 10 to the minus 12. Okay, cool. Now I got to plug all this in. This is kind of a chug and plug problem. So we have 10 log of 63.66 divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 12. That'll give you a value of 138.04. Uh, this is going to be in decibels since we're dealing with sound. Uh, 10 log of 0 0.0398 divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 12. That'll give us a value of 106 or 105.99 8 or basically yeah, it's just going to be about 6. It's 106. Uh, and then 10 log of uh, 7.074 times 10 to the minus 4 then you're dividing that by 1 times 10 to the minus 12 that'll give you 88.497 let me check that again make sure I did that right yeah okay should be good 88 point yeah 497 so these are gonna be your sound values but keep in mind they tell us to take into account air absorption so we're basically gonna lose some uh, sound level as a result of the air absorbing it okay and so we have to subtract that for each of these so this is the value assuming no air absorption but obviously in this problem we have to take it into account the way you do that is so let's just start with a we just take one of our values 138.04 db and then you're going to multiply it by the radius in this case it's 25 meters so 25 meters let me actually do it like this 25 meters and then we know that for every seven or every one kilometer or a thousand meters, we lose seven decibels. Or sorry, you're actually not multiplying here, you're minusing. So seven decibels, right? Because you notice we do 25 divided by a thousand, uh, and then that, that'll get rid of these units. And we're basically just subtracting the amount of decibels, but we have to get it in terms of how far we travel. So that's why we're doing it like this. So 25 divided by a thousand times 7 it's only minusing 0.175 so really you can have just this value so minus 0.175 it's still going to be about 138 so you can just leave it like this so when you're this close there's not really that much loss so you can kind of ignore it uh but yeah so i just rounded to 138 again now for b we're going to do the same thing 105.999 uh, and then we minus obviously this distance is greater it's one kilometer right that's how far we're out and then we multiply it by uh this wasn't kilometers here sorry about that i don't know why i wrote a thousand kilometers it is a thousand meters so that's my mistake a thousand meters right there uh and yeah right because it's one kilometer uh, which is a thousand meters so this right here is one kilometer uh, and then we know it's seven decibels so notice we're basically just subtracting seven here so 106 minus 7, uh, right? It's going to be about 99. So 99 decibels. That's going to be your answer to B. So yeah, we've got that now. Uh, and then let's do C. So C is 88.497 minus uh, the distance for this one is 7.5 kilometers times 7 decibels for every 1 kilometer. So 7.5, keep in mind this was kilometers, so it cancels. 7.5 times 7, 88.497 minus that. That gives us 35.997, basically 36. So 36 decibels, that's your BC. So you have all of your answers here. This is C, this is B. Your answer to A is right here. Uh, and uh, yeah, so these are going to be your answers. Just a quick rundown. So we knew we had to get the intensity to solve for the sound level. I got the intensity using this formula for each of them. We just had to change the radius. And then we just plug it in for the sound level. But then I also know we're going to have a loss of the sound level due to uh, air absorption. So we had to subtract that from each of these using this 
formula here. So they tell us it's seven decibels per kilometer. So we basically just take that, multiply it by our distance uh, and subtract it. Uh, but yeah, so these are going to go ahead and be your answers here. And uh, hopefully you found this video useful.